Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Road to Gold here on SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. And we have another matchup here today. This time, Brendan the Beast is going to take on Chavo Guerrero right here on Superstars. We didn't get... We didn't quite qualify for the SmackDown show, but we have got a bit of a situation going on here on Superstars. A one-on-one -on -one exhibition matchup with Chavo Guerrero. This should be a pretty good matchup indeed. A nice little stepping stone for Brendan if he can knock off Chavo here. Who knows, he could perhaps move his way up, up the card a little bit, perhaps get himself in the Intercontinental Championship scene in the near future. Let's hope so, as uh, we go ahead and kick this match off. Here is the Beast, he's coming out, and uh, a lot of you guys gave me some great comments on the first video. I really appreciate those, those comments and the likes. I really appreciate all the support that these videos get, and all my videos get, and my subscriber rates going through the roof right now. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which is crazy. And here is the beast. Look at him. Now, I kind of shrinked his arms a little bit. Uh, he's not as big as he was. He was a bit ridiculously big last time. And a comment that I also had was that on his shirt says the animal, not the beast. Now, I know this. And hang, we have a cat. We're, hang on. We have a cut scene. Okay, we're in the, we're in the ring here. Now, I know that that says the, the animal, not the beast. I couldn't find one with the beast on it. Now, I was going to get like a, a, an animal or something on it. And, well, there is uh, Chavo getting a cheap cheap shot on us before the match. Now, I was going to get like a, I don't know, a tiger or some kind of a beast, a bear logo and put it on there. But it don't, they didn't really come up very well on the black. And then it really came up well as black, but the shirt was black. So, it didn't really work. So, yeah, we picked the animal. It was close enough to the beast as uh, Chavo hit the five-star frog splash as we skip ahead. We did kick out there. Now, I like to kind of... Trying to keep these videos a little bit more short and sweet. Now, I like... A lot of my other videos are longer. I'm trying to keep these matches, you know, just show you some bits and pieces of the matches here and there to uh, keep, keep them a little bit more short because uh, I know you guys are probably sick and tired of watching 10, 15 minute long videos of mine. I know I'm... I'm not tired of doing them, but I kind of like to change it up a little bit. And as the Beast is ready to go, here we go. Can he hit his finisher? No Chavo with a poke to the eye, thump to the eye there. And uh, the Beast going to try and turn around and see if he can hit his finisher here on Chavo Guerrero. But Chavo reversing once again. Now I also upped the difficulty. Now last match was uh, a abysmal. Uh, it was shocking. We kind of beat Cody Rhodes in what, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. It was pathetic. And I did that and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, we might want to change this up a little bit. So... I put all the matches now are going to be on legendary difficulties, so even though the legendary, the difficulties in wrestling games is a joke, I mean, and they reverse your shit here and there, but it's not really that difficult at all, but yeah, I put on legendary, see how we go, see we can, I don't know if it changes the difficulty a little bit, might take me an extra few minutes to get a win over Chavo instead of, uh, you know, the 30 seconds that it took to beat Cody Rhodes, I don't know, but uh, the Brendan is, he's kicking up here, he is ready to go. As he gets a big shot here. And here we go. Kisses on the biceps. Here we go. Finisher time. And you guys didn't get to see his finisher last time. His finisher is a big power bomb there. He's going to drag Chavo in the middle of the ring. Let's finish him off. Here we go. It's one, two, three. Brendan picking up a huge victory here on WWE Superstars. Fantastic victory. And this could certainly elevate him to the... Main show of SmackDown. We may see him in action on SmackDown real soon. I know we did see him last week on SmackDown, but that was because of me, not because uh, the game put him in there. But uh, a few more wins, and we might build our way up and get ourselves on the main card as we, as we uh, take a look at the highlights here as Brennan defeating Chavo Guerrero quite comfortably, I must say, here on one-on-one -on -one competition on WWE Superstars. The referee raising his hand. Fantastic victory here for him and we could see him in the Intercontinental Championship picture oh, near very soon and wait a minute Vince McMahon this match isn't over yet did you forget about your other opponent now ring the bell well we, that's Zack Ryder that is Zack Ryder he's coming out here to take on Brennan the Beast and here we go Brennan has another matchup here on Superstars and he's gonna have to knock off Zack Ryder. He's looking good already, but he, he's gotta be he's gotta be tired. He just had a match up there. So Zack Ryder could be able to get a quick victory over Brennan as he throws him across the ring with a belly to belly. Now, 
I'm planning on doing some more changes to my character Brennan. Um, I also added another attire to his um, uh, his ring attire. So I, I changed up some colors and uh, added a new th different couple of things to his uh, to his uh, gear. So a few things I've changed up there as we skip ahead. And uh, Brennan has got his signature maneuver. Now this is my favorite wrestling move ever. The gut wrench power bomb. It would have to be my favorite move. Ever. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love the move. I, I've i got to have it on my guy. I love the move. And he's giving a bit of a taunt to Zack Ryder here, showing off the guns. And Zack Ryder not happy about that. Brennan trying for a finisher, I think. Gets reversed. Zack Ryder still remains in it. And uh, he's lost his finisher. Couldn't quite get it away. Now we throw him across the ring again. Now, yeah, like I said, I was trying to get a few guys up, a few uh, things up about Brennan. So trying to, I don't know, Give us a few different options as we go for a cover. Though Ryder kicks out to kind of keep things fresh for the series. And if you don't know what's the plan here, of course, or Zach Ryder, another reversal there. What we're going to be doing, like I said last episode, is we're going to build this guy up, the beast, Brendan, from the bottom, hopefully to the top. As we go for a cover here, one, two, oh, that's going to hit, that's three. That's going to be it. Brandon wins his second match of the night. So two for the price of one for you guys. And here on WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, Universe Mode, Brandon building his way up the ranks here in the WWE. Well, that's going to help because two big two big victories here on Superstars has got to help. You can see that gut rate's power. Beautiful move. So, yeah, basically what, what's the plan here is we've got this guy, created guy, he's... On the bottom of the bottom, you know, he's not in contention for anything. He's working superstars if he's lucky. And what we're going to have for him is as the weeks go by, as he gets some wins behind his belt, he may just, in fact, get a shot at the championship gold. And what our goals and aspirations are for this series is to have Brandon with as much championship gold around his waist as possible. Will that happen? Time will tell. And the series will go on until we get that World Heavyweight Championship around our waist. As uh, We're going to check out some rankings, check out what else and how we are going. So will we feature in the rankings this week? I don't think we will. Uh, let's have a look. Intercontinental Championship. We are not there and we're not in the world title hunt either. Well, Guerrero and Zack Ryder are now rivals with Brandon. Guerrero more of a rival. Zack Ryder just doesn't really like him that much because he lost. He had to do the job. Once again, he should, be, he should be used to doing the job now. And, well, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Road to Gold. If you liked it, make sure you do leave a like, comments, appreciate as well. Subscribe, more Road to Gold coming soon.